guys, me and Nate, we're here at Dale Hoddle, Tennessee, and I'm here with Kenny Mack and Rick Slinker, and they're pro staffers with the carp bait company, World Classic Baits. And we are going to tear up some big old carp, and we're gonna be camping, it's gonna be awesome. Now, if you guys wanna do this too, I'll put their information in the video description below, and maybe just maybe they'll take you on one of these trips too. Okay. It's like the D-Day invasion, holy mackerel. All right, thank you very much. Oh. Well, check it out, guys. We got this whole point of land all to ourselves. We're gonna be fishing and camping for three days and two nights. This is gonna be awesome. Dale Hollow, Tennessee is one of the top three carp fishing destinations in North America. It is an amazing place and people come from all over to fish for the massive mirror carp and common carp. They're here in this reservoir. So we're gonna get our rods and reels set up and start fishing, and then set up camp. All right, I'm gonna use a lot of different baits to catch these fish, but one of my favorite baits is Panko, Strawberry Jello, and Sweet Corn. It makes what we call a pack bait. I'll show you what I mean. So they got a bunch of cans of Panko breadcrumbs. Then I got a big thing of strawberry gelatin mix or jello mix. Now we add some sweet corn. You look, you just take this ball of jello and you mold it around your wet lead. And then on my hook, I've got this little plastic corn. Shove that right inside, we're good to go. Well, because there's two of us, I brought two sets of rods. One set is my European carp fishing gear, and the other are the Catfish and Carp Series Whisker Seeker rods. These are my own signature series rods named after my Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. And uh, we're gonna try to catch some big old 30 pound carp on them. Mm -hmm. Hey, what'd you find? Little fossils. Oh yeah, look at these little fossils. Little... Nathan found these little fossils. Like they a little they shell. Want... They watch our... I'm using bait on most of my rods, but on this one, I'm gonna actually use a carp lure. This is called a zig rig. You know what you know what the hell it's called? Two of these rods have zig bugs, and one of them I'm gonna use boiled feed corn. We're gonna chum a bunch of it out and then throw our bait right on top of the pile of chum. I got three bite alarms. And these will tell me if any fish come biting along so I can go set up my camp while keeping an ear out for fish. All right, we got the fishing gear out. We got camp set up. What's the first thing Nathan wants to do? Swim in! You gonna look for fossils too? Look at all these fossils. For lunch, I'm gonna eat this heat and serve Japanese curry. I love this stuff. Daddy? Eat and serve Japanese curry and boiling bag rice. Woo oh. We can't be camping in Tennessee without eating moon pies. There you go. It's like a chocolate covered marshmallow cookie sandwich. Oh, man. Oh, I am so tired. Oh, I just might take a little nap. I'm exhausted and I can hear my bite alarm, so. Something bites, it'll wake me up. Fish, fish, hey, David, fish, come on. We got a fish. Oh, he is running for the hills. Nathan, I need a net. He was running for the other side of the reservoir by the time I got here. <laughs> Would you like to reel him in? Okay. You got him? He's he's big. Keep, no, keep gotta keep that rod up in the air. I like that, you like that. You got it. Oh, oh, I can see him over here. See him? Keep that right up in the air, Nathan. Up high, up high. Oh, there you go. 
You don't have any shoes on. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Let me go get him untangled, okay? There we go. He's on. That is a big old fat common then, carp. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Like, He's voice. got a perfect tail on him. You ready to see how much he weighs? Yeah. Come up, put him up. He is 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Away. All right, you ready to let, let him go? Hey, but come on. Nathan, high five, buddy. Good times. That was awesome. Ate a little food, took a little nap, woke up. Nathan landed a 21 pound carp. Oh, this is my kind of camping. Well, it's 4 p.m. and we just landed our first fish. I expect it only to get better. Man, I've just been starting to see some big fish jumping out here, so. I think it's going to get pretty exciting. You got, you got a fish. I'll take it. Oh. Popped off. Nathan, what do you think so far? Has this been a fun trip? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot nicer than sleeping on buffalo hides in six degree weather, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where he didn't finish his dinner. Oh, this sure is pretty out here. We're having a good time. <laughs> well, it's about seven o'clock and the sun's setting and uh, oh, man, I'm just on pins and needles. We, we could get into some big carp any second now. But uh, I'm going to get the fire going and I'm going to make some dinner. We got some shish kebabs ready for dinner tonight and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Kidley. All right, there's one chicken and one beef and wrapped in bacon. And let's spool up. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> pans, pans, pans. There's some weirdness going on over here. Every day. Yeah, and Daddy, if you don't think like this, yeah. it's a lot harder. Simulator, it's scary. Daddy. All right, there you go, four of them. Daddy, Daddy, I'm doing this to make you a little fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any help with that. Go in my bed. I wanted to be in my bed. You got your blankie? And I Mimi. You got your Mimi? You got a oh, pillow? Oh, I got... All right. There we go. Yeah. It's a beautiful full day ahead of us. Oh, hello. You got him. Oh. <sighs> Look at that. Right there. Big piece of corn right there in the corner of the mouth. 31 pounds. Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, oh, he's chunky. Oh, that is a nice, nice fish. 31 pound mirror. 
Well, that was fun. I just came over to check out my rods and I actually saw the carp hit that one before the alarm set off. Well, a 31 pound mirror. I think that's the biggest mirror carp I've ever caught. My previous record was 28 pounds, I think. So not too bad. Those mirror carp are a lot more rare here in the US. So they're kind of special. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that's a hit right there. Get the net! There you go. Perfect net job. <sighs> Another one on the Ponco bait with the fake corn. That's been the ticket, all three fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Nice 19 pound mirror carp. He is spunky, so he's this one's gonna fight more than the others. All right. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there he goes. Got some clean, dry clothes. Now let's uh, get that rod back at the water, catch some more fish. Bye-bye. He ran away super fast. If you guys like this sort of thing and you want to see a lot more fishing videos, or if you want to see how we do our rigs or how I make my baits or gear reviews or any of that stuff, check out my other YouTube channel, the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. I've been doing that one for seven years and have over 500 videos on carp fishing, cat fishing, and other types of fishing. I'll put a link down in the video description below if you want to check that out. I was digging up, they went there. I've caught a thief. I'm gonna pause it for you. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here, come here, Nate. Grab it, grab it, Nate. Grab that one, the one that's spinning. Yeah, I'm gonna... So you gotta keep that rod up in the air. So that's a that's that's a big fish, buddy. Hey, it looks like he's a mule. Oh, he is fat. Hey, I, yeah. Oh, we got her. Whoa. Oh, this is a big fish. I oh, love that corn. They're all hitting that corn. How big? 36 and a half pounds. Oh. 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 <laughs> Nathan, is that awesome? Yeah. Congratulations, buddy. Smile, look. Oh, look at this fish. There he goes. Whoa, that was a big fish. Now that's Nathan's new personal best. And Nathan's really happy because he just tied his older brother's personal best. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, I love these rods. These are the Whisker Seeker Catfish and Carp series rods. They're named after my YouTube channel because I helped design these. And this is exactly what I designed them for, catching catfish and carp. This is a great carbon fiber rod. I'm gonna put a link in the video description of where you can buy them. Hey Nathan, congratulations on your new personal best. Yeah, and you tied Tommy. Oh, yes, good job! All right, got all the rods rebated and spots chummed up. I'm gonna hang out and watch some more movie. This is my kind of fishing. Then you would pay This is a British carp fishing bivy. It's a tent specifically designed for carp fishermen. One of the things that makes this specifically for carp fishing is that the door can be Velcroed shut so that in the middle of the night, if your alarms go off, you can rip open the door and bust out really quick. So you don't get burned, but I'm gonna... Yeah. As much as Nathan loves top ramen, I am a sucker for a good curry. So we're doing that again. <laughs> Like your ramen? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I've been furious with her. One I have All right, Nathan. You hungry? Yeah. What do you want to eat tonight? Mm, steak. Yeah. 
you know, Nathan, we probably shouldn't eat just steak. We should, we got kind of like a balanced meal, don't you think? Yeah. How about some Captain Crunch? Oh, look, it's got vitamins. We're eating healthy, aren't we? Yeah. I'll tell you what, guys, I love these cots. They're a memory foam cot with adjustable legs so you can always level the bed. And the sleeping bag that goes with them straps to the cot. So when you toss and turn or jump out of bed at night, your sleeping bag doesn't come flying off the cot. It's, if you're in North America and you want to buy some of this European style fishing and camping gear, check out bigcarptackle.com. Hey, oh. Oh, fish, Nathan, fish. Raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. Yeah, Nathan, you got him. He's heavier than he looks. 24 pounds. <laughs> Look at that beauty. All right, let's get him in the water. There we go. They're just monster carp in here. I mean, the average is like the low 20s. I think the smallest fish we got was 19 pounds. That's insane. It's just an absolutely insane average. They're private carp fishing lakes in Europe and England that would kill for these types of carp numbers. And they're just here wild in the US and hardly anyone fishes for them. That strawberry panko and sweet corn is just doing a wondrous job. Just gonna keep at it. Well, the sun's setting on day two and I got all the rods rebaited and repositioned. I think we're gonna be in for an interesting night. I got a good feeling about tonight. We're just kind of sitting here and relaxing. Once it gets real dark, we're gonna eat some moon pies and hang out a little bit, maybe watch a movie. Cause you gotta eat moon pies under the full moon. It's huh? moon pie time. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your pillow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go hit the sack and maybe we'll pick up a fish in the middle of the night. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning. Who we got, who we got? Beautiful 23 and a half pound carp. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was my 5 a.m. wake up call, but I'm gonna go see if I can go back to bed. <laughs> it's cold and wet out here. Good morning. <laughs> 29 and a half pounds. What a beauty. Oh. All right, let's get her back in. Oh. Oh. There we go. He just picked at it and picked at it and picked at it. Oh. Woke me up like twice before he finally grabbed it and ran. Here's a little trick when you make it a cylinder instead of a sphere and then put your hook right in the bottom. That way when it lands, it'll land like this and instead of landing with your hook buried underneath it. All right, I got all the rods baited up. I think I'm gonna build a little bit of a campfire because I could really use something to warm me up. I'm gonna have myself some breakfast here. You get this ultra pasteurized milk. It doesn't really need to get refrigerated if you're gonna use it in a couple days. And on a cold morning like this, tastes perfect. 
Well, it's 8.30 and Nathan hasn't stirred, so I think I better go wake him up. <laughs> hey, you. Well, I've got a warm fire for you. Oh, this has been pretty amazing, but it is time to go home. We got a couple hours before our buddies are gonna come with the boat and pick us up. So, uh, better start getting packed. Hey, guess what? I'm just going home. Give it. Oh. Here comes a ride. Nathan got a new personal best. I got a new personal best for Miracar. It's not a bad trip. Not a bad trip at all. It's the greatest trip ever! <laughs> With the wind coming at us. Rick, thank you so much, I appreciate man. appreciate you guys. If you guys want to do this too, make sure to check out Rick's website. I'll put a link down in the video description below, okay? Thanks, guys. Oh, all right, shall we go home and see Mama? Nathan, did you have a good trip? Yeah! <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you want to see more travel and adventure and camping videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And if you guys want to see lots of fishing videos, don't forget to check out my other channel, the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, with lots of tips and tutorials on how to catch carp and catfish. And we'll see you guys next Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning, remember? If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.